So let's go ahead and get this party started. Black Crypt. Probably want to create a new party. So I got a pool of 25 for each of these. Maybe um, the fighter should be strong. And intelligence. Can I go above 10? I can. Can't go above 20. Hey, Mr. K. Yeah, that was... I didn't realize this was an EA game. So this was probably right on the eve of when EA started to turn to the dark side with their sports titles. I'm not a big enough D&D &D guy to know what uh, wisdom brings to the table. But I'm guessing, and of course I've got all these different kinds of people too. All these is just, okay, I can choose there. I do not want that cat. That, that cat guy scares me already. A magic user, let's go with Gandalf. My cleric doesn't look very cleric-like. Give him some green skin there. Okay, and let's pump up the old intelligence. Okay, we are ready. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I think I gave my cleric lots of wisdom. How are you today, Mr. K? Well, maybe you can help me out here, because I've never seen Black Crypt before. This is my first go-round with it. I've got the manual here on the, the monitor to my left. So, I'm going to see how well we can do here. Okay. Got the wooden shield. Not sure why my um, why my cleric has. I guess it's a little dagger. Oh, cool! Hey, Duncan, how's it going, man? All right, so we got some equipment here. I read you can use the cursor keys to maneuver yourself. Um, Way is thick with lock and foe. I wouldn't expect it any other way. I guess I can't do that. Let's move. Can I take that? Nope. Got no other key. What's in our backpack here? An apple? This is kind of neat. Is 
I guess this is like um, the armor, the undergarments, and the jewelry, of which I don't have very much of anything. Our uh, magic user or has got some cheese. He's got um, some beef or some pork. Okay. Yeah, this is you're right, Duncan. Opening a door that looks like that rarely a good idea. All right. Um, let's go ahead and back out of here. There's another hallway. There we go. All right. There's a key. Sure, we'll need that. The heart key. So. Um, maybe put that in the. Nope. I gotta put that in the backpack. Put the pork in the backpack. All right. I can already see myself getting lost in this maze. I guess there is a. I was reading on Lemon. There is a. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Um. Could these be bats. Can I attack? Can I move through this? Oh, okay. So maybe that was just a trap or something. Um, looking for hit points. Uh, that's nothing. I guess my hit points are just this bar right here. Let's see if we can eat some pork to replenish our health. Um, oh boy, oh boy. Something's going down. No, no, turn around. All right. Took care of him. I give this back to the wizard? Okay. Eat the cheese, wizard. Hmm. That means he swings. I put the cheese back in the backpack. Killer clam. Hmm. Okay, let's consult the manual here. Okay, I've got to do a quick OCR on this manual in uh, Acrobat. To make sure I can I can search through some stuff. So while that's moving on, we'll go ahead and continue the journey. Um. Uh oh. Killer clam. Um, oh, there is, uh, there is, there are some maps in here. Okay. Items worn. To eat and drink. Oh, shoot.
Okay. To eat and drink, access the character's inventory screen and click left mouse button on a food item or water skin. Okay. Oops. Okay, so this is the wizard. Okay. Um, move the food or water to the character's face and click the left mouse button. The character eats a helping or two of the food and drinks. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so the food was not uh, incredibly nourishing, I guess. Um, this guy's got some water. Maybe a little bit of that. Cheese, pork. I want to give this guy. Okay. So he, just like real life, food does not really. Um, it just keeps you alive. It doesn't necessarily heal your wounds. Um, let's see here. Magic. To regain hit points and stamina, it's a good idea to let your party rest for short periods of time. Click the left mouse button on the skull. And click on the your body goes to sleep. Okay, we need to let one guy stand watch. Let the druid stand watch. Okay, we slept. Good. Um, to wake your party, click the left mouse button on each character, or click the green gem to wake everyone at once. Okay, that was cool. All right, but let's do find out about how to use learning and casting spells. Oh, okay, so maybe up here. Maybe I don't know any spells yet. I don't think I know any spells yet. Okay. So, let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And this is level one of Black Crypt. Okay. And... Man. It's a scroll. Okay, see, I do have some magic. I've got wizard sight, shield. Oh, um, okay. Oh, I see. So this is like cleric or druid, magic user, cleric. Got it. Okay. So he knows these spells. He knows these spells. Okay, that makes sense. And we continue the journey here. Um, I wonder if, okay. Ogre Blade is cursed, its ways are wicked. If you possess this evil sword, your life force will slowly drain away. Okay, good to know. So I will not equip the Ogre Blade. Uh-oh, 
killer clam. Get in there, wizard. All right. There's another one of those awesome looking doors. Can't open that one though. Looks like I am, oh, oh boy, that's, that's what I was looking for. How did we do that? Okay, this makes all the difference in the world. Um, what happens if I click on this? Is this the same screen? Okay, now we can actually, now I can actually feel like I'm making progress. Uh, I believe this is an OCS ECS game, um, Mr. Euler, Euler de, Mo de Moogle. Uh, it's released in 1992, so I believe that it actually does this pre predate AGA? Was AGA 93? I can't remember. Okay, this could be something that could help me or hurt me. Can't appear to pick it up. Oops. Can't really swing anything at it. Let's just walk onto it. Okay. Not sure what that what that did. Check out the map here. Okay. So I've stepped onto this thing. So I need to go right and then up. Hmm, I turned myself around somehow. Okay, so I need to go right and then up. Hmm. <laughs> this this always seems to happen. Okay, so right doesn't mean turn right. Right means move to the right. And then the, the other buttons are the turning buttons. Sorry. Still trying to get a handle on this. So turn. Okay, let's see what this thing looks like on the map. Okay, so it's it's definitely that, that thing, whatever that thing is. Okay. So, um, I'm sure this thing has some sort of significance. But I don't know what it is. I can't seem to click on it. All right, let's go. Beyond it to that door. Uh, uh. Leather armor, all right. And another sack of water. Okay, so what do you say? Still trying to get a handle on how exactly you access the inventory screen. I guess just right clicking on any of the item boxes and then going over here. Coordinates. 
Okay, so we need to get to a point. Okay, let's put this in the, oops, let's put this in the backpack. And then drag from here to there. Okay, we've equipped the leather armor. Good work. It's the little things. Oh, that's cool. The extra half bright mode. It is very colorful. Um, and you need that really with a um, with a dungeon crawler like this because your environs are so dank and dark. dark. Colin, you know the thing that is uh, the best thing so far about this game is that it has an auto map feature. Um, that is, uh, I just, you know, I didn't grow up playing these kinds of games. Um, and so, uh, not having that would make this much more frustrating. Okay, so we've done that. What do you say we discover more in this level? So we should probably um, back up and then turn left. So back up, turn left, and straight on till morning. Oh, this is so, it looks so confusing, but then when you look at the map, you're like, oh, it's just this. Okay, how did I get over here? Did I pass through a wall? That's weird. Okay, what's the map look like now? Okay, so if I turn right and go straight, now I should have revealed all that's been hidden. Okay. Well, let's turn left and go straight. Well, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing here. I hope the map, am I going to have to go into each one of these places? I think I am. So if I do that, then I go back to the map. Yeah, it fills it in. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't have a problem with fog of war. You know, as long as I can see where I've been to keep me from going around in circles, it's okay to hide hide other stuff from me. Now, here in the, um, I've also got in the manual beside me here, I've got a complete map of this level, um, and so I, I can kind of use that as a guide to also, except for the fact that this, okay. This doesn't look the same, <laughs> so maybe not. Maybe not. Um, so this is a, a dungeon crawler, and so my guess is that I'm basically just moving through this dungeon looking for treasure. Um, I don't really know how to read. I guess that's my, I think that's my food level maybe. Let's try and, yeah, so that's my food level. So I've got to keep my guys alive with food. Um, so everybody seems to be reasonably well fed. Okay. So just one more quick look at the map and we'll determine our next course. Maybe we should try and head up this way and make sure there's nothing up there and if not we'll come down here and then do that sort of a thing. So I need to go up, right, up, left. Up, right, up, left, forward. Okay, let's see if this has opened up anything for us. There's another one of those things over there that I missed. So let's 
turn right or turn left and go back to it. So it's going to be left and five up. Just another one of these guys. I think I might be going the wrong direction. Oh. Okay, I think this took me back to where I was. Okay, I'm facing the wrong direction. So, left, left, and then forward till you stop. I'm going to try and attempt to use magic uh, when I encounter another enemy. Oh. oh, did I go through another wall? Let's see. What? How did that happen? Well, let's, let's keep on going. Is this where I started the game? It is. So maybe my wizard sight spell just started working. Okay, well that makes sense then. Because now this map makes sense. So my wizard spell started working when I cast it. It didn't map before then. So, um... What I need to do is go this way. There are lots of weapons and armor and stuff that way. Oh, can I go that way? No. But I do have a key. Awesome. Okay. Uh oh. Crazy clam. Cleric died. I should have healed the cleric. Alright, I need to figure out how to cast spells quickly. Maybe that I just don't have any offensive spells? That can't be true, right? Oh, I see. Maybe. Okay, I should have, like, queued these up. I don't know why you have to do that, but... Well, now we know, so. And. This guy doesn't have, it. oops, shoot. Okay. Well, it stinks that my cleric is dead, but so it goes. Okay, maybe I'll get a chance to revive him later on. Let's see. All right. Ooh. That's neat. Uh-oh. Just cast chaos on that guy. Oh yeah. Okay. Um nothing there. Maybe this is where we turn off the teleporter. Or the uh not the teleporter, but the that thing. Oops. Ugh. Turn, there we go. 
How are we doing on food? Everybody's okay. I want to take this opportunity and rest a little bit. Leave our fighter awake. Okay, and let him sleep. Let him rest. Okay, we're all back awake. Everything's good. Can't go. Uh-oh. Like I need to cast Wizard Side again. Okay. For a second, I thought I was going to get upset, and I always think maybe if you don't keep Wizard Side up, it will uh, take your um, it will make you remap everything. So at least that's not the case. Okay. So I think what we need to do is turn left and go straight if we can. Oh, we can't. Might as well take this death gem. And the satchel. Shirt. All the cleric stuff. So this is a true D and D thing where you're it's a managing inventory. The cleric pants and the cleric mace. Okay. That switch doesn't seem to have done anything. Why, well, hello there. Maybe I should have turned that switch back on. Can I get it closer? Nope. I will say, you know, the, the, the method of movement does get easier. Right. Throwing that switch didn't seem to do anything. Um, so the compass spell uh, tells you your direction. Read rune, dispel magic. Oh, maybe dispel magic. Let's try that out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ha! Yes. Warhammer. Oh yeah. Put that in there. Now my fighter currently has a hammer. You know the war hammer is going to be better. So take this, put it there. It's the old inventory shuffle. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, unfortunately, you can only dispel magic one time. So maybe that was all I needed. Maybe all the magic on this floor will be dispelled. Doesn't seem like that's the case, though, because we've got these, these guys over here. So we need to turn right up to left, turn, go. Right up to left. Oh, okay, I'll just step right on through. Scroll of the spelling, sweet. Give this backpack to this guy. Oh no. I can't get out. I have to use the scroll of the spelling. No. Wait a minute. There's the scroll. Oh, shoot. I think I just wasted that. Ah, oh, this. Just do that, and then, okay. I'm not sure why you have to kind of cue these spells up like that. people can take the quiver. Well, I don't want to leave it here. So I guess maybe it was the uh, the cleric Do a quick search for the death gem. Okay. While in the Plat Crypt, your party will find numerous red gems called death gems. These gems contain the souls of adventurers who have died there. To resurrect your party member, hold the gem in one hand and cast a raise dead spell. Note, unless a death gem belongs to your party member, the soul within it cannot be resurrected. Okay. So who's got the raise dead spell? Not I, said the druid. Not I, said the magic user. So really, it was probably the cleric that has the raised dead spell. So of all the guys to die, he was the guy that you didn't want to have to die. Okay. Well, let's just go on. Okay, we need to back up, turn left, go straight. That's interesting. Oh, 
it's uh, stairs up, right? key for that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! Have at E. Cast protection. Oh. Oh. Ah, but the cleric's still alive. Oh, the cleric's died. Or druid's died. Alright. Well... This has been Black Crypt. <laughs> I have a feeling I was not supposed to ascend. Usually in these games, ascension to a higher level uh, is something you do at the very end of the game to escape. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me on this Black Crypt stream. Uh, thank you, Duncan Styles and Colin316, Sean Pascatini, and Euler de Moogle, Mr. K. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's been interesting, and uh, you'll hear all about it on next week's Amigos. So until then, guys, have a great weekend. Adios.